Hey folks, Sega Sonic fan here, and I am today exploring something that has produced the magic smoke. Oh my gosh, how bad does that look? You might be surprised at what caused it. So this is a portable uh, electric screwdriver, and this is the uh, charger. Plugs right in. It's the original charger that comes with it. No problem. Well, I was reaching under my desk and I accidentally grabbed this charger and plugged it in. <laughs> and that's what happened. Uh, this is a 12 volt and I think the original is like a 14 volt, but I think the polarity must be reversed. So word to the wise folks, this is why you include polarity protection in your circuits. This could have caused a fire. This is actually quite bad. This is one of the worst uh, burns of just a power supply, you know, very similar voltage I've like ever seen. I'm um, pretty sure the cause of this, by the way, is this uh, this diode here. You can actually see the tab of it kind of burned off a little bit, and then it kind of went after the resistors next. And in fact, let's go ahead and have a little fun and hook this up to the microscope and see if we can get a uh, better idea of the damage report. Now, of course, I disconnected the battery first thing. I can actually feel the heat on the outside of this, and that's what got me worried and got me uh, starting to really take this seriously because I didn't want to take it apart. It's a bunch of screws, but, you know, something's like burning and catching fire. It's a pretty good idea. So let's go ahead and focus this here. Wow. That looks ugly. Look at all that. So I think there might have even been a third resistor in the middle there that got just pulverized. It's hard to say. Um, R1, R2, R3, and R4. Was there an R3? Look at those. And because those are, I think those are 1206s, um, they're, they're getting pulverized, but they're not exactly breaking the connection because they're a little bit higher wattage. Now you can see though from the uh, the diode there that the tab has essentially burnt the AGO. It says D2, so I'm assuming it's a diode. Uh, yeah, folks, pretty uh, pretty nasty stuff. What I'm hoping is that that small uh, IC package there isn't part of the problem. I don't want to have to replace that. It looks like a SOT SOT 23-6, I think. But uh, we'll see. I'm going to go to work on this sucker. Um, fortunately, I do have another one of these I can take some readings from and see if we can get this guy working again because I do love this drill and or the screwdriver, electric screwdriver, and would like to have it going again. Be careful of chargers, folks. That's the uh, lesson of the day here.